I have a 2016 GMC Sierra. I found a set of brand new pull off 2020 Sierra wheels on Craigslist with brand new tires. It had never been driven off the lot. And I put them on this truck. Um, now I knew going in that the uh, that 2019 and 2020s used the 433 megahertz TPMS sensors. This truck has the uh, 315 megahertz sensors. So I bought new sensors and uh, took the tires and wheels up to the tire shop. Had them swap the sensors out. I just put the wheels on today. Now I've got to program the uh, TPMS system to recognize the new TPMS sensors. So that's what I want to walk you through uh, using. The, now this is the MS906TS. So this has got the built-in TPMS antenna, transmitter, software. Um, that's one of the reasons I bought it. I don't believe on this truck you have to have a... Uh, scan tool to be able to do this but it, it does make it easier and we're going to walk through and see see the process so um, we're going to hit TPMS we're going to put in our vehicle we got a GMC try to get that glare out of there uh, it's a Sierra in the US it's a 2016 Um, yes, we're going to delete the, the existing sensor data. Um, we're going to go to programming. Actually, let's go to relearn. Okay, OBD2 relearn is what I'm wanting. You can do uh, you can do programming, so you, you can actually program new sensors. Um, you can copy the sensors and all that kind of stuff. But normally, what you want to do is a relearn. Um, it tells you a little bit about the factory. OEM sensor was a Schrader sensor frequencies 315 megahertz. That was the part number of the OEM sensor when the truck was built. Now keep in mind that they might have updated that part number. So if you go buy new sensors, that part number may not be effective anymore. Um, they they may actually have an updated sensor with a new part number that you know that's better. So what we're going to do is we're going to go to uh, OBD2 relearn. Make sure all, uh, all of your vehicle sensors have been triggered. You have four sensors not triggered. Okay. Okay, so I've got to trigger the sensors. So let's do that. So, boy, if you see right there on the screen, it is trying to trigger the left front. Okay. I'm going to hit trigger. And I'm holding the scan tool right next to the valve stem. Okay. I'm going to hit trigger. You want to start with the left front, then right front, then right rear, and then left rear. Okay. So let's see what the next step's going to be. And now let's go to OBD2 relearn. Okay, so I don't know if you heard the horn honk. So now what I'm going to do now is saying, place tool against the uh, left front valve stem and activate the TPMS sensor. The truck just went into see where it says tire learning active. Hit OK. You heard the horn honk. I'm going to go to the next tire. Hit OK. Okay, so I'm going to hit, I'm going to set this down so you can see what I'm doing. So what it says. Place, tool, place the tool against the now we're at the rear left uh, tire valve stem to activate the TPMS sensor. I'm going to hit OK, and I'm probably going to have to hold the tool up 
close to the valve stem. And there it is. Okay, you heard the two horns, or the two honks. Reading IDs, please wait. OBD2, relearn, okay. We got our tire pressures. And now, read IDs from vehicle. And there's the IDs of the sensors, the, which tire each ID is on. And it's done. That's how easy it is, and you can do. You can clone uh, with this tool. Uh, you can copy by activation, copy by OBD2, copy by input, auto create. Um, or you can do a relearn. So it's it's pretty versatile when it comes to the uh, TPMS uh, functions. Anyway, that's about all I wanted to show you, how, uh, how the MS906TS works with programming the uh, TPMS sensors. You guys take care.